In this lesson, we will show you various grading methods supported by StyleCAD, including some advanced features. First, we demonstrate point grading. Select one or more grading points and use the grading panel's arrow buttons to grade. Each click adds to the amount by the increment amount shown between the arrow buttons. You may use the arrow keys as well. Radial grading tool is useful when a curved section must be graded in parallel lines. Select the section and click either side to initiate the option window. Enter the offset amount between sizes. The offset amount could be regular or irregular between sizes. Copying grading data is very intuitive. Select the grading point. Type Ctrl C to copy the grading data. Select one or more grading points and type Ctrl V to paste the data. Select the Flip Y tool. Select one or more grading points. The grading data is flipped in the Y direction. The grading axis can be very useful for odd angled corners. Clicking a grading point places the grading axis there. Clicking the axis adds the increment in the axis direction. Clicking the center of the axis changes the orientation. You may drag an axis to dynamically orient it. These two pieces will be sewn together. The intermediate grading tool can be used to grade the attached point. Select the first section. Select the second section with the shift key down. Click the selected section to initiate the intermediate grading. Type Ctrl C to copy the grading data. Select the two grading points on the princess line and type Ctrl V to copy the grading data. Notice the Copy Y setting on the bottom status bar and how only the Y value is copied. The Intermediate Grading tool is quite flexible. It can be used on multiple separated sections or on a continuous section. Here we have a smooth grading notch point on a sleeve. After grading the surrounding grading points, select the Intermediate Grading tool. Select the section and click it to initiate. The perimeter grading tool ensures the two matching sections perimeter length is perfect for each size. Select one or more sections that comprises one side. Type Ctrl C to remember the perimeter data. Select the matching sleeve side. Click an endpoint to start the operation. Notice the perimeter increment values have been copied from the first section. Select the grading direction for the clicked endpoint. Now, two sides have perfectly matching sizes in terms of perimeter length. Repeat the same process for the back side. Grade the collar by copying the perimeter offset amount from the matching sides. Switch to the default tool and copy the corner grading data to the point next to it with Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Select the XY lineup tool and select the mirror point to shift the grading data. The radial grading tool is packed with so much power. Drag a guideline and snap it on the endpoint. Select one more section and type Ctrl C to copy the perimeter offset data. Select the matching section and click either side of the selected section. Notice the Use Guideline checkbox is checked on. This causes grading on the blue point to be aligned to the guideline. Also, the Length Increment button ensures the perimeter length is matched to the copied sections.
The lock rating button keeps the current grading amount of the endpoint and the radio offset is automatically computed by the tool. Here we will demonstrate how to use the auto grading feature. We register a piece that is already graded. Each grading point is labeled with a numeric ID. Notice the first grading point is selected in the preview window and the curve has quick step entry of 1 automatically. Select the grading point and the same grading data at point 1 is applied. Type the tap key and the quick step entry is incremented to 2 and the hook symbol moves to the grading point 2 in the preview window. Press the Shift and Tab keys to move the hook symbol to the previous grading point. This visual approach to automatic grading makes it very intuitive to apply grading data from a similar shape. 